Hello. This is my third fun math challenges for kids game. This is for Liam and any other kids that want to do some fun math on the internet. I've got two more games for you from the math playground. The first game is tug team multiplication. This is for practicing multiplication and it's a competitive game out on the internet like we've seen in the last couple videos. The second game is Math Surpassed Vision. This is a strategy game. So let's first of all look at tug team multiplication over at the Math Playground. Here we are at mathplayground.com and this is a fourth grade game. So you hit fourth grade and you'll scroll down till you find tug team multiplication. And this is a tractor pull and it's a team competition. This is set up in similar manner to some of the other games. You put yourself a name in here, and we're going to be competing against other kids on the internet. And here's, uh, it looks like there are not any games right now. I'm, I'm doing this kind of late at night, so there aren't any games. So I'm going to create a game. I'm going to make it a public game. And maybe I'll just go against the computer. So I'm going to start the game, or I could wait for some other kids to join, but let me just show you how this, this works. <clears throat> Two times five is 10, three times one is three, 20, and so on. And you're trying to pull against the other player. I don't think I'm gonna finish this one. You can have a whole bunch of kids on here, a whole bunch of tractors pulling against a whole bunch of tractors. Good luck with tug team multiplication. <clears throat> the second one I'd like to look at is also a fourth grade game. It's called Math Surpass Division. Let's see what this says. It's called Math Surpass Division. Find the quotients, that's the answer to a division problem, on the game board. Flip your opponent's discs when they're trapped between two of your own. Sometimes this is called outflanking. If you have the other team's discs between yours, they get flipped to your color. Can you surpass your challenger? You can use small divisors or bigger divisors. You can do it against a friend or against a computer. I think I'll use the small divisors and I'll go against the computer. So 10 divided by five is two, and I can pick any of these twos here. I like to be on the side of the board, so I'm gonna take this two over here. Then the computer goes. Before I finish with Mass Surpass Division, I wanna show you the game Othello. Mass Surpass Division is similar to Othello. This is a very uh, popular game. It's pretty easy to learn, but pretty hard to win and master. I'm black and it's my turn. I can go here and I'm going to be outflanking this white one here and it's gonna change it to black. Then the computer goes. Now it's my turn. Now this one helps me and tells me I can go into any of these positions. I think I'm gonna go right here, and that's going to change this middle one to a black. And the computer went here. Now I'm gonna come over here, and back and forth we go. This one is at eothello.com. Here's another one, otheloonline.org. The game Othello is sometimes called reversey. And the nice thing about this one is you can set the difficulty to one star, two star, or three star. You can play against the computer or a person. And this is going to allow you to learn a little bit uh, just against the computer. So I'm black, I'm gonna go here, that outflanked that one. And now I'm gonna come down here and outflank this middle one. Now the computer goes, I'm gonna come over here and so on and so forth. I will tell you right off the bat that the most important positions are in the corner. If I can turn a corner to black, that's good because the other person can never take it. 
The next thing that's important is the edge. So I'm gonna go right here and I'm going to get this edge. And you wanna maintain this edge as best as possible. Let me pause this. And here's another chance for me to get this edge started. And I can get this edge started, except I don't have anything to outflank here. So I, I cannot go down here at the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna to return to the math surpass game. 25 divided by five is five. So I think I'll come over here because I like the edge. E takes nine divided by three, okay. Uh, 24 divided by four is six. That gives me the corner. In math surpass division, you do not have to outflank. In regular Othello, you do. Okay, that kind of hurt me a little bit. Um, 16 divided by four is four. Maybe I'll come down here. He's gonna come in the corner. Okay, good for him. 18 divided by three is six, and I'm gonna make this a six, because I like to be on the edge, and I don't think that's gonna be able to be flipped. Nine divided by three is three. I think I'm gonna maintain this side over here, and the process continues. I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna resume the video. Sometimes you only have one choice. 28 divided by four is seven. It's my only choice. Let me pause this again. All right, I'm down to my last few moves here. Six divided by two is three. If I go down here at the three, that's gonna flip these two. That's good. Now the computer goes, it's my turn. I get this eight. And then the computer goes, and I did win this time. I don't always beat the computer, but this is an interesting game for you to try out. I hope you enjoy these games on the Math Playground. Have a great day.